I've dug out my Wii mainboard for one more test. I'm going to try transplant the NAND chip from different working Wii. First of all, I will need to remove all of the hot glue. This was obviously a mistake. I've removed most of the glue as well as most cables. In future I will use only magnet wire and definitely no hot glue. I've removed the old NAND chip, I might need it in the future. I store it inside the ESD bag and keep it safe for future. I think it stopped working because I've removed the C131, C132 and C24 capacitors. It might not be the case of course, but I will try to sort them the back and check. There's also this capacitor here which could be soldered on the other side of the board. It should work on this spot as well, but I will solder it on the verified spot. You can see here the correct place for this capacitor. I've removed all of the wires and cleaned the hot glue. I try to solder new capacitors in place of the ones I desoldered back then. I've grabbed the old Wii mainboard from my storage. It's the 6 layer one but it should do. I've transferred the capacitors from one board to the other one. I hope that it might fix the mainboard. I've solved that that C24 as well. I've decided to transfer the whole NAND chip from one board to the other. I've desoldered the NAND chip using my hot air station. It wasn't that hard. Soldering the chip onto the board will be way more difficult. I tend to short circuit the gaps between pins with solder. I've managed to solder the chip, there were some issues but I got rid of them. This chip is different than the previous one but it works the same way. I've also redid the EU10 connection with the better routing. I've soldered the voltage regulators as well as video cable and now it's time to see if it works.